everybody, Lauren Ibach here, and right now I'm going to show you how to download your digital purchases from my Etsy shop. If you purchased something from my Creative Market shop, this information won't apply to you. You're going to want to go back to Creative Market, go to the listing that you purchased from, and scroll down and you'll see detailed instructions for you there. But assuming you ordered from Etsy, you are in the right place. Make sure you're doing this on your iPad because you want to download these files directly to your iPad. And another thing to do before we get started is delete the Etsy app from your iPad. You can put it back after you're done downloading the files, but this is the only way that I know how to do this. So if you want to try doing it through the Etsy app, you can, but I won't be able to help you. I only know how to do it when you're being directed to Safari. So delete the Etsy app. Assuming you've done that, you'll have um, in your inbox an Etsy transactions email. And you're gonna wanna see down here, it says order details and your order number is, and then there's an orange number. You're gonna wanna click that. And you'll be directed to Safari and you'll be able to see all the files that you purchased and in the upper right hand corner it says download files and you're going to want to click that black button. And now we're scrolling down and we can see all the individual files. I'm going to first show you how to download the a grid from the grid pack and then I'm going to show you how to download a brush from the brush pack. So feel free to fast forward to that part if that's the information that you need. But let's start with the 5x5 five five Procreate Grid, this first download button. I'm going to click that with my finger, and it's going to look like this. Now press down with your finger for a couple seconds on your screen, and then you'll lift up, and this will pop-up will come up, and you're going to want to click Save Image. And then you'll want to go to your Photos, and you'll see that it downloaded to your photos. Now if you need help getting your grids downloaded directly into your Procreate project, I have a Procreate Grids tutorial on my channel with more detailed information on how to use these grids and get the most out of them. But we're going to go back to Safari and you're going to want to do that same thing for all of the grids in the grid pack and just save them as photos. But now I'm going to show you how to download a brush from my brush pack. And we're going to do this first one, the flat brush pen. Now let's click download. And this is going to pop up. And down below in blue you can see open and procreate and that's what we're going to do. Click that. Procreate will open. You're going to want to open a new project. Go up to your brushes and you'll have an imported section. It might be down at the bottom, it might be up at the top. I think I moved mine down to the bottom. But I have a lot of imported brushes. This might be your first one, this might be your fifth or sixth, but it should show up at the top here and it'll work just fine. It doesn't look very pretty because I'm using my finger, but um, it's that easy. If you need any extra help with the using the brushes and how to get the most out of the brushes, again, I have an essential brush pack tutorial that you can check out on my YouTube channel as well. So that's all I have for you today. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for purchasing from my shop. I hope these digital resources will be as helpful to you and your lettering and creative projects as they have been for me.